Jobs are good. Oh, watch it power. Got a wee party of cows for me this morning. Here we are, we can it. What a be? That's all already done. Are you abandoned? Yeah, we're stuck. Morning, Holly. Good lad. Just into bed up. And there's a new calf just been born. Must have been 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago. Looks about that. It's up on its feet. This cow there, she's not going to be long. There's another couple that aren't going to be too far away. So everything's going well so far. I've got a bear coming over here, apprentice on the portlet. This is a friendly one. Loves a scratch. You want a scratch as well? Not so much. He loves it. That's a ticket. It's obviously hungry for a drink, but I'm not going to get much off of that wee calf, are you? Silly beast. This man is right behind it. 44. What's the bingo number for 44? 44. Two dirty holes. That's it tagged. It's a wee heifer. Right, I've got my map up on the wall. So if you're not in the UK, tell me where you're watching from. Comment below where you're watching from. And don't just say, like, um, Nevada say where in Nevada or whatever it is because there's a few that commented on the other video and I'm not quite sure where about in the state or in the country you're watching from so if you say specifically and I'll get your tag on the board not UK because obviously there's not much space I'll get a proper UK map and um, to do the UK separately so if you're out with the UK say where you're watching from I've got quite a lot in America quite a few in Australia New Zealand and um, not many in Europe I thought it would be more in Europe some in Spain Portugal um, what was that? Bulgaria, Sweden, Norway, but get some more up there. Right, good morning. Frosty is anything. Back on the quad bike. I'm just waiting to feed the hound down. Dad shifted fur for Kev. Um, Kev spread fur. Go on in, one in, pal. Dad's just emptying the flatbed because he's got straw to take on the road. Yard number two, there's some horses and they're out of straw, so he's just going to quickly nip along with someone there, the wee flatbed. We'll get a full load with the trailer just when we get a chance. Feed the sheep here. Lambs are all doing absolutely fine. Here we go, you can see Kev there. This is the last field of wheat to do. We left it a bit longer because it's quite wet. It's after potatoes, scrubbed wet, it was disc wet, it was sown wet, it was the uh, so it's not really got too much structure to the soil. But it's going fine now because it's dried out over the weekend. So this is sulfur nitrogen again. Uh, it's the last that we need to spread in this field of wheat. Um, it's a bit wet this field, so it got left a bit later. Once we spread this field, it's going to shift on to P and K. Probably could have got another bag in there, but I only brought the two down. But I'm going to put the grab on, um, shift some bales, and then come back and fill them up again. He just needs to get the shoulders out. I think it'll be all right. Let's get in there. Go on. There you go. There's the shoulders out. Come on, keep it going. Keep moving. I'm just going to go around the other side and just make sure the calf's breathing. There we go doing fine. Its head was just kind of folded back so I wanted to straighten that out but 
here's number two. Cow's trying to calve it standing up, but calve it right up against the wall. Good idea. Come on in, big heave. There you go. No. Heave. Go on. One more push, I think that's it. There you go, that's his head out. Big heave, get the shoulders. There you go, get that. Hips there. There you go. Look at that, that is satisfying as anything. Right, I'll go and shrimp my dad because I need a hand shifting that one next door. Join us, we're getting the weatherproofing on the outside here, the damp proofing. There's a window layer, uh, layer. There's one over there, I think. Right, Laurie's just pulled up. I'm just going to chuck my phone onto the door. Right, I'll pick you up there. Hope you get a good view. See you later. Job done, seek with Laurie there. He wasn't scared of a brush, swept the whole thing. He handed me his wee electronic measuring gauge. It's quite good that, the weight gauge, I just put it down there and it just says, shoot for, what was it, 28.3. Easy peasy. Got a fair bit done recently. So I've sheeted all these walls, put in a moisture proofing membrane on the outside. So it's getting there. You can see the internal walls. So this is gonna be a room here, room there, room there, and then two stores back there corridor up there, corridor along here and out into this area which will be altered slightly to house all the bins. Dad's just picked up new rails um, for the children's play area. There's a few that are knackered so replacement bits. So we'll get this wood round to the play park which is over there. I'm just going to use the quad bike because it's here. There's nothing heavy in the trailer so it'll be fine. So this is what we're replacing. There's a few missing, there's a few rotten, um, and there's a few snapped. It's absolutely boiling. It's got to be about whew, seven and a half, eight degrees. Anyway, I've been doing a bit of walloping. Took some bars out. This edge seems to be the worst. I think this is good. Most of the customers come from this direction. So kids and whatnot will jump over and whatnot. And just over time, have worn out. And you can see the neck of some of it. Totally rotten, just useless. That broke. Reminder, don't throw these. It's not broken. So good. I love this tool. Definitely much refer metal fabrication than woodwork. Like a glove. Why, why is it only some of them the right length? Fucking hell. I think this needs to cut a wee bit shorter. Oh, it's so close. Come on, that's the ticket. Oh, watch it purr. That was me going slow, fast. Lightning. got a helper my brother anyway just about done there's a bit over there that yeah this bit because there's a t that comes onto here uh, instead of stripping all this out i just cut it there butted it up and put a brace along the back and instead of fiddling about and doing it right in there be fine like that you'd never notice once it's painted anyway as well this is an awkward one it comes into here there's two spurs that come off for the gate swing swing 
So it comes in here and it's just a bit awkward. So I'm just going to cut it there, butt it in there, and then screws in here and here. Voila. Good enough for my book anyway. Basically, the only spars that were needing done were on that edge. This bit here as well. That edge is basically all fine. And the rest of it's all golden. Must just be kids jumping over. Anyway, done. Needs a lick of paint though. Get in there. That was just tensioning this wire a wee bit more. Just fixed this step. It was goosed, falling to pieces, so it's fixed. Ferg's tensioning this, so I'll have a wee go on it once he's tensioned it. Over time, it kind of stretches and this ends up closer to the ground, so tension it a wee bit. Should do the job. Ah, uh, Peter's been down it. Works a treat. Jobs are good. In. Just go and dump all this wood into a trailer. It'll go along and get burnt um, and then tidy up all these tools. Right, and I need to go and shift a container with Dad. Um, need a forklift at each end. Hopefully, the wee forklift I manage. Um, if not, we'll have to bring the JCB along the road from Yard 2. Here comes the Dad. Oh, there's some new signs. Let's have a look at them. First time I've seen them. Farm shop, nice colour. Welcome to Gold Barn. There she is. Come on then, Mutt. Right, I'll abandon that, I'll deal with that once I've done this container. We'll do the container when it's daylight. Oh, extension's coming along nicely. Starting to tie in there, we're gonna sheet it all. I'll, that bridge along there will get filled in. We're gonna sheet everything exactly the same as that building, so it'll all tie in together. As for the container, that blue one, Dad's dragged it back out of the way so we can get the wee fort lift in. Um, and then I'll just lift from this side. I just need to watch. There's a couple of manhole covers, so just be wary of them. Hopefully the wee fort lift I'll manage. Hopefully the wee fort lift I'll manage. Leaving for five minutes and it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, we need to get this unstuck. What a shambles. We tried dragging it forward. We got the fort lift in that gap, that fort lift. Attached it with a strap and dragged it forward a bit, but now the container's in the way. If we get onto this bit, it's a bit more solid, whereas underneath here, it was kind of it's soft, loose. So we just dug in and Dad got it stuck and now we can't get it unstuck. So we get a chain, shift the container out of the way and then drag this a wee bit more. It's moving. We've got manholes under here to deal with, so I'm just gonna leave it there and we're gonna get some round posts, put them underneath, put it down the round posts. We don't even need to put it down, but when it gets to the manholes, we roll it over the posts. We made it over the manholes, didn't disturb them at all. pictures as well. Actually worked quite well. What an ordeal, but anyway, it's out. It's not beach anymore. I actually thought I was gonna scratch it down here, but it's totally fine. Belly plate survived. Job done! Dad's just in there shifting our dishwasher out of the way. I'm clearing up this trailer and then day done. So cheers for watching. If you
you've not already, tell me where you're watching from if it's not in the UK so I can get it on the map. And then I'll do a separate UK one. But that's coming soon.